Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Proxmox in Home Assistant. It makes it to where you can see the stats on Proxmox, everything from Home Assistant. Then you can tie that in with your home automations or anything like that. So uh, this series is about going over starting a smart from scratch. So I'm starting everything from scratch. I'm installing software. I'm installing servers. I'm going to get to the home automations, everything like that. And um, if you're into that, subscribe, comment, like and let's get started. So we're gonna start on the GitHub page of, um, of the Proxmox V, the custom integration for Home Assistant. This is a custom integration, so you can look at the code here. It's on GitHub. I'll link it down in the description so you can get to it easier. Um, so this makes it to where you can reboot your Proxmox, reset it, resume, shut down, start, stop, suspend. You can also see all your nodes too. So, so you can have a ton of entities if you have a lot of nodes. Uh, so you can use that in your home automations. So you can install it with ha hacks. And uh, I have a video of installing hacks on Home Assistant. So I'll link it down in the description as well. Um, so we're going to um, copy this one and I'll link it down in the description so you can copy it easy. It's just the custom repository. We're gonna go over to Home Assistant. We're gonna go in Hacks right here. We're gonna go to Integrations. Then we're gonna go up to this top right to Custom Repositories. Then we're going to paste that repository in the URL. We're gonna change it to integration. And then we're going to press add right here. Okay, this has been added. So now we're gonna close this out. You're gonna see a new repository right here. So I'm going to go into this one and we're gonna go down to the bottom right to download. You can select the version that you want. We're on uh, 202 right now, so. This one's on in the config, the custom components directory, then it's gonna Proxmox V. So I'm gonna download it right here. This'll take a bit, so I'm gonna pause it. So we're back and um, that screen that we were on to uh, download it will disappear. You can go backwards right here. Then you will see it's pending restart. I'm going to go backwards again and then pending restart, you'll have to restart your home assistant. I'm gonna say navigate right here. You're gonna to go to the restart button right here. Then we're going to restart home assistant. Restart. I'm gonna pause it right here and wait for it to come back up. So once your home assistant comes back up, we're gonna still be on the same page. Check and restart right here. We're gonna go down here to the left sidebar and we're gonna go to settings. We're going to um, go to integrations right here, devices and services, integrations, devices, entities, and helpers. We're gonna go here. And we're going to add integration. We're gonna type in Proxmox. You're gonna see that it is a custom integration right here. and will be presented with putting in the host, port, username, password, and realm. So we're gonna have to set up the Proxmox permissions and the user. So we're gonna go to data center, permissions, groups, create, and then we're going to create a home assistant group. I'm gonna go over to my Proxmox. I'm gonna go to data center, then permissions, and then groups down here. And I'm going to paste in Home Assistant, what I copied before. And then we, we, we've created the group. We're gonna go back over to add a group permissions to all assets. So we're gonna go to data center permissions, add, and then group permissions. And then we're going to set the path as uh, the current. And then we're going to select Home Assistant group right here. Then we're gonna select the PV auditor and then we're gonna make sure propagated is checked. So, we're gonna go over to your Proxmox. 
and we're going to go back to permissions. We're going to go up here to group permissions. We're going to set the path is here. We're going to set the, path, uh, the group is home assistant. We're going to set PV auditor right here. We're going to make sure propagated is checked. Then we're going to say, say add. Okay, we need to create a one for the admin. So we're going to do the current. Then we're going to say home assistant is group. Then we're going to say PV admin right here. Make sure propagate is checked and add. Okay, so we've got those two. We we got those two roles added: the audit, the auditor role, and the admin role. So now we're going to go down here and create home assistant user. So I'm going to copy that, and then we're going to go to data center permissions users add, and then we're going to set the real as Procmox V authentication server, and then secure password that you're going to put in, and then select the group you just created earlier, home assistant grant access to Proxmox, and then we're going to enable and we're going to make sure expired is set to never. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's go over to permissions, then users, up here add, then we're going to say home assistant is that, we're going to set the Proxmox V authentication server right here, we're going to set a password, I'm going to set a password, okay now you're going to set the group as home assistant, right here. We're going to make sure this expires says never. And then we're going to say enabled is check mark. Okay. Now we're going to say add. Okay. This is added and should be working. Okay. So we're, we're back on adding the integration. So I went down to add integration. Then I went to Proxmox up there and then I'm going to type in my host. So we're gonna set the port as 8006, but you, you need to set your port if you have a different port. And then you need to set your own IP address. We're gonna not verify the SSL certificate since we're using IP. So now you're going to type in home assistant PVE and then at PVE right here. We're gonna set the password that we entered in the home assistant user on the uh, Proxmox. So now Set the realm as Pam. So now we're gonna submit. Okay, you can see that we can pick our nodes. I'm gonna pick our nodes right here, and then we can pick our uh, our virtual machines down here. You can also pick more virtual machines right here. So we're gonna submit, and then you'll see that uh, they're being added. Okay, now you can go down here. You can see your three services that we've added. You can see CPU, disk usage percentage, memory free, memory used, memory used percentage, status, swap free, swap used percentage, and uptime. So you can see that it's been running for a while. So that is how to add Proxmox to Home Assistant. So I just showed you how to add Proxmox to Home Assistant. This makes it to where you can create hot home automations uh, based on your CPU, your stats on your nodes, everything like that. So, um, so if you like the tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and uh, join the Big Bear community. It'll be down in the description. Uh, and um, stay tuned for more.